All right, welcome back to Daytime. Well, probably one of the greatest, uh, single most greatest experiences uh, you will have as a child is that summer outing to camp. Uh, the friendships, the experiences that uh, that are locked into that that uh, that memory slideshow that live with you forever are uh, invaluable. And unfortunately, there are many children that just due to circumstance are not able to make the trip to camp. Uh, but there is an organization that, amongst other things, uh, one of the many many initiatives they have uh, does their very best to try and send kids to camp. And I'm talking about the House of Friendship. And we're joined with two very special guests. Yes, with very special stories. John Newfeld with the House of Friendship, who uh, again, it's the Trek for Kids, which is again the fundraising initiative to send kids to camp, but also very special guest, Sean Hempel, who. Uh, Hempel. Uh, Hempel. See, again, I knew you were going to correct me off set. Oh, yeah. We had the. <laughs> he. He uh, did a, a particularly special thing with, with your grandfather, did you not? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna. We're gonna get to you in a second, but at first, John, I'd like you to talk for check for kids, and then we'll we'll, we'll get to Sean's story. Sounds good. Jay, did you go to camp as a kid by any I chance? Did, yeah. Yeah, yeah I really. Did. Yeah. Why, why are you? Obviously, you didn't that? expand enough energy while you were at camp, but that is our goal. <laughs> It's just the host day. Good. Continue. Go ahead. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Jay, House of Friendship's been helping send kids to camp since about the 70s. Mm -hmm. But this year was a, a bit of a special year. There was some uh, things that happened with this year's campaign that sort of stood out for me. And it was mm -hmm. really neat. And it was sort of kids helping kids uh, go to camp. And the first one actually has nothing to do with House of Friendship. It was sort of, that was the neat part of it. As you remember, in February, we had Meet a Wee Day. Mm -hmm. I think you were one of the guest speakers. Oh, no, no that actually, was Al Gore. No, sorry. I <laughs> wrote wrong. So, so on Meet a Wee Day, I get from all the time. Yeah. From Meet a, on, at Meet a Wee Day, there was eight kids from King Edward Public School who mm. attended, and uh, hopefully we'll show a picture of them here in a few seconds. And they attended this Meet a Wee Day. Here there they are. There's the eight kids, and that, that's Megan, Evie, Christine, Justina, Cassie, Leba, Natalie, and Aoife. And uh, the eight of them went to Meet a Wee Day. They got so pumped, mm -hmm. so excited, they were going to make a difference in their community. And so they thought, oh, not sure how we can make an impact, how we can help. But uh, they put together a garage sale. Wow. And they had a simple goal of $200, and they partnered with Margaret Avenue Public School. You know what? They raised over $1,000. Incredible. Wow. And then this group of eight from the Meet a Wee Day um, said, we want to help House of Friendship. Mm -hmm. And so then I met with them, and uh, they loved the idea of helping send kids to camp. And so we were so incredibly inspired that, you know, these kids went to Meet a Wee and actually applied sort of what they learned mm -hmm. that day and uh, so that that's them again there and so there they're presenting uh, House of Friendship with a check from the fundraiser they did. And there really is something to be said about the fact that kids now, uh, more so than any other time I remember, are, are so engaged and involved in the community and in helping other people, not only just children in this instance, but uh, just helping people in general, which uh, um, again, it, the Me to We really is a, is a large component of that, inspiring these kids to take that sort of initiative. And Sean, you took some initiative. Mm -hmm. What exactly did you do, sir, aside from give me some attitude? <laughs> um, I biked 19 kilometers with my grandfather. Wow. Um, we went all the way out to um, Waterloo Park, I'm pretty sure, mm -hmm. and we turned around there and came back, and then... But Sean, why did you do that? So why oh. did you and Grandpa do Trek for Kids? Um, I really wanted to make a difference and help kids go to camp, because um, I'm going to camp this week, and... Um, wow. I'm feeling really excited and hoping I'm going to make new friends and um, I just wanted other kids to feel like that. And it is, it camps the great equalizer in many cases because uh, you don't you don't have all the cliques in that you do in high school here and we're seeing some images now of some people involved in some the track. great story. Here's some other yep. kids that were part of it. Listen, I got to tell you, track for kids was the rainiest, coldest day of the season um, that you could possibly ask for but you know what? Kids still came out. It was pouring rain. And look at the smiles. And look at this this woman, Roxy, there on her crutches. Like nothing was going to stop her from uh, doing this trek. And so we had over 120 people that wow. either biked, walked, uh, or ran um, to help raise funds to send kids to camp. Now let's talk about the actual numbers going to kid uh, going to camp because there, there was some. Uh, the outcome of this was really special. Yeah. Um, that, that initially um, you, you, this year uh, you, you raised thirty eight thousand. Oh, over $38,000 yes. to raise uh, to send 72 kids um, to camp. But as a result of this, you've received additional donations that will now allow 102 kids 
yeah. to go. This is this is this is spectacular. And that's the community support mm -hmm. is that so those that couldn't participate in the trek still uh, made a donation and people in the community still can if wow. they go to our website and uh, they can still donate and help send uh, more kids to camp. But our, our goal was definitely at least 100 kids. We were committed to that and so we were able to make that happen. But like I said, the thing that excited me the most was uh, seeing other kids, helping other kids yeah. uh, like Sean and, uh, and the kids from King Edward Public School. And Sean, I can only imagine you and your grandpa had a really great time. Oh yeah. It was one of those things, that it's a really special moment for the two of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, were there any kind of, hap any, any quick stories about what happened that day for you and your grandpa? Is that your grandpa up on screen now? That's not, no, sorry, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's oh it is. Yeah, that's yeah. me and my grandpa, yeah. Look, look He's the, the funny looking one with the uh, bike helmet on. <laughs> the good looking one is me. <laughs> Grandpa's not here right now, so this is why John can take liberties like that. But uh, again, a really special day. And again, even though it was raining, you guys look like you're having a fabulous time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to do it again? I think I will. You think you will? You're going to get Grandpa this time? You're going to get your dad out, get your brother out? Who are you going to bring um, out with you? Probably my whole family, hopefully. Wow. Because that would be really fun, and we could probably raise more than this year. Wow, and that's that's it. Sending more kids to camp because it is something that's going to live with these kids for a lifetime. And you are to be congratulated, sir, as well as all the other people that participated in the trek. Uh, a really special event. It is something that will be happening annually. Yes, absolutely. Okay, now this is not a a, 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 a one day event. If if anybody is interested in participating in any of the initiatives for the House of Friendship website, absolutely. Uh, what House of Friendship dot com? Dot org. Dot org. There we go. Yes, because you are an organization. Uh, dot org for more information. Anything else coming up with uh, the House of Friendship at all that's worth mentioning? Here's your uh, 30 seconds to here's do. My there's, there's always something going on. Mm -hmm. uh, our golf tournament is coming up next. And, uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to the summer. And just wanted to thank everyone that helped out with mm -hmm. Track for Kids. We had a lot of support this year, and you saw some of those pictures. One of the neat things that uh, happened this year is we always get a lot of assistance from the pharmacy school. Mm -hmm. So we call them our pharma friends, and they came, they volunteered, and so Incredible. it was another great event, and we got over 100 kids going to camp as a result. 102 kids will have the joy of camp this summer, and you, hopefully, sir, will have an incredible time at camp this summer. Mm -hmm. Is your brother going as well? Um, no, I'm going with um, John's son here, Micah. Awesome. Well, you, uh, you guys hopefully don't get into too much trouble this summer, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. There we go. Well, Tebow, thank you very much. And again, congratulations to everything that the House of Friendship does. And the Trek for Kids. 102 kids to camp this summer. All right. More daytime to come, so stay 